it is a blistering warm day today but we do have cool weather coming so that's nice to see in you know the month of may or month of may sorry month of august and <clears throat> we got some pop-up storms coming right now it's sprinkling but there is a storm coming from the north down it's up by Kalamazoo right now, but it's got some yellow in it, so it's going to be a little more of a downpour type rain. Probably some winds in it, but it's just a little storm coming. <clears throat> right now it's sprinkling. There's like a gray cloud over us. I could see brightness over there, but there is also darkness I could see to the north of us. And uh, you can hear the thunder. You can hear the sprinkling, but <clears throat> I just can't help but sometimes just come out and just sit and listen to the sounds of our homestead here. <clears throat> Man, I got like a froggy in my throat. And uh, <clears throat> just kind of enjoy the peacefulness that it is you know even though we got roosters crowing and horses blowing boogers when they're you know blowing out their nose and the goats are pretty quiet because they don't know i'm outside right now but if they were to see me they'd start hollering probably but they're probably inside too because it's sprinkling because goats hate water and I just feel like sometimes it's just nice to sit outside in nature instead of being inside. So I thought, you know what, I'll come out and I want to kind of video kind of what's going on right now. And I thought it would be interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long I'll, this video will be or if I'm just only going to do a small portion of it and then go from there but <clears throat> I just figured that hey it'd be kind of nice like yesterday's video was just you know me going around to certain areas of the farm trying to get a little bit of everybody obviously put it into a little short video of no talking and then you know you had Brutus at the end letting me know that someone was here and that was Amazon just delivering a package and, uh, actually it was for a phone case and my husband's, um, Fitbit bands and the phone case did not fit my phone. My phone's a little longer than what that phone stated, that phone case stated it was for my type of phone. So I had to go back on Amazon then and actually go and put in my serial number and everything for my phone. And they came up as the one that I ended up choosing should fit my phone at least it says it will it came up as the same numbers and everything that mine did so we'll see it actually had the four um uh camera photos on the phone it's got four instead of three going diagonal like this way but it's four in a square so two on each spot is how my camera is and um so that's supposed to be here tomorrow, and uh, we'll see. It will actually help with, like, videoing. I could set it up, and it will sit there, and then I can video as long as I can figure out how to do that. It's a wallet-type case, so then I don't have to carry, like, my card around in the back of my pocket because I hate using a purse. I'm not a purse-type person. Um, I have never really have been. But I think that if I could put my cards and stuff in a phone case, since I carry my phone with me just about everywhere I go, um, I could use it for kind of like a little purse or wallet. So that's kind of what I got, and it's pink. Of course, that's my favorite color, and it has butterfly on it. So that's another thing. I'm a real nut when it comes to butterflies. I love butterflies. I love moths. For those that didn't know that, my favorite color is pink. And uh, 
I just, I love being outside. I'm an outdoorsy person. I was raised like that. I've been a past barrel racer. I really did well when I was younger barrel racing, and I was a, a model too. I did runway model stuff for J.C. Penney's, and I was really happy about that. And then um, <clears throat> I kind of got out of it when I got pregnant at the age of 20, and then I had my first daughter at the age of 21. Um, and then I got married not long after that um, to my first, which would be my ex. I was married for about 15 years to my first marriage, and that was a marriage that was not great. Just kind of giving you guys a background of who I am and where where I stand and everything when it comes to stuff like this. Um, I've been very still, still very outdoorsy. I love fishing. I love hunting. I love foraging. I love growing stuff. I love animals. I am just an outdoor person. Very country. And uh, after being in that relationship of having a a person that was not very good to me uh, physically and mentally let's just put it this way um, and couldn't keep his own thing in his pants he wanted to spread it around to other women so um, I finally as I tell myself all the time I finally got the balls to leave um, what it was is I just finally decided I had enough and I left I went back to my mom's house, and uh, I met my current husband, who is the love of my life. Um, you could say that any relationship or marriage, he was previously married to, to a pretty broken marriage, similar to what I was, but with a ex-wife, and... Uh, he had two beautiful kids with her, and like I tell my mom and my mother-in-law, you know, the only thing that I got out of my marriage before was two beautiful kids, and uh, that would be Courtney and Elijah. My oldest daughter is Brianna. Um, she was not from that marriage, but to a man that I thought I would marry, I was, I was very in love with him, but he, he was not that way with me. He wanted to be with every woman he could possibly get with, and he was one of those men that could do that. Um, he could persuade you. And then my second re major relationship, which was my first marriage, um, he was the same way. He is, he's a talker, and he can persuade you to just about do anything and believe anything he says. Now, with my current husband and the man that I'm totally in love with, and feel like I wish we would have met when we were younger, but we all have to go through things in life to be able to get to where we are in life currently. And with that being said, um, I feel like, you know, we both of Billy and I had to go through the relationships and stuff and grow as as a person ourselves, you know, both him and I both have had to grow and I think, you know, with Billy and I being together almost 10 years now, um, next year will be 10 years that we've been together. And I just think to myself, goodness, you know, um, I can't believe it's been over 10 years now that I, have you know, was no longer with my first marriage. And it's just, it amazes me that, you know, I would have had, too many years put into that relationship, Dixie. Don't scratch me, girl, okay? Don't put your claws in my my legs because that hurts. I don't mind you sitting on me. She likes to use um, her claws to, like, hold on to my legs, and it hurts. Her claws are very, very um, sharp. Flies landing on me. I hate that. But um, yeah, I just feel like we all have to come to a point of our lives where 
this is something that you just know that is right. And my husband, Billy, is my savior. Um, he has really grown, especially with Christ, since we've been together. Um, there are things that he would never have done before in his life or even tried foods in his life before if it wouldn't have hadn't have been for me. Um, he has really come along and really opened up to a lot of things, um, just overall, and it's a life that when you have somebody that is on the same mindset as you and believes the same things as you and doesn't portray to be somebody that they're not, it is it's a blessing it, it it is just a blessing and i thank god all the time for blessing me with a man who is so deserving as my husband is and i think to myself you know with god's help and everything this is the reason why we have this place because my husband and I, we looked for over five years trying to find a place. And everything that we had went and looked at and then tried to put an offer in, we got shut down. Or the bank said, no, it needs too much work, you know. Or something just always blocked us. Like, God always closed that door. And then when this property came up for sale four years ago, um, it was only on the market for like 14 minutes and that was it and I had contacted my realtor at the time that we were using she's a blessing she still keeps contact with me today um, she watches my YouTube videos so I really appreciate her she even knew you know about the destruction that had happened to the house and she asked me if there was anything she could do chelsea is just a blessing in disguise um she is still doing realtoring and i just am trying to pass everybody on to her to bless that woman and just keep her going in the greatness that she is but i had contacted her she said you know get a hold of jason who was who I was working with at the time for a mortgage company and then that mortgage company got bought out by who we're currently with now um, but it, it was I don't know it was just we were approved for uh, like a hundred and eighty thousand this home was priced over two hundred thousand obviously and um, I ended up getting a hold of our mortgage company, the the banker that was dealing with our loan, and he said, yeah, he said, Chelsea's already got a hold of me about this, and he said, go ahead, um, give him the asking price. So we gave him the asking price, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, it was 219000 and um, within 24 hours later, we had a up, accepted approval. And then it was like, you know, we, we were saving to put it because we had to have quite a bit down for a down payment for the type of loan we had. And we had just enough saved um, to be able to do that. So it was great. Um, we actually had the approval done on April 28th, I think it was, and uh, we closed and signed paperwork on June 5th of 2020, and we were moved in the house on June 6th. We actually came, you know, and we started, we started moving stuff in, but we didn't actually stay the night till the next day when we actually got more of our stuff here, but we were excited just this has been a total blessing it's been a blood sweat and tear type of property to work with because this was completely wooded and when you have animals you need it's, it's not like you can't have trees but 
trees are a little bit of a hazard when it comes to like fencing and falling down or limbs falling and possibly killing your animals or hitting your your outbuildings or anything like that you know and like for sure with our storm that we had on Father's Day evening you know four trees fell on top of the house and then um, nine trees total came down behind the house but four of those nine ended up on the house we had some other trees that went you know that way that ended up uprooting and then went down into the chicken area of course and busted up some stuff and then stuff ended up in Max's pen where he's no longer at he's with the chickens now and that's where he stays because he helps protect them he keeps the hawks and the owls and the um, raccoons from eating them which is great um, he's a good dog but I mean when it comes down to it I feel that we are very blessed yes I did have like Courtney and Elijah they did help out the first couple of years that we're here but these last few years it's been mainly just my husband and I doing the work here like my son he's been in Ohio with Courtney his sister for the whole summer and I think he's going to be there probably till about school starts so probably this whole month and then he'll actually come back probably at the end of the month or so but it's it's just like um, <laughs> there she is it's it's like you know of just having the strength and everything you know my husband works full-time he's worked for the same company for almost 20 years now and he is a heavy operator slash laborer that's what he does he operates and labors um, uh, and he works long hours he's up between 3 30 and 4 in the morning and he's out of here by 5 and he gets to work about 45 to 50 minutes later and he starts work then um, and then he usually doesn't get home till 6 or 7, sometimes even 8 o'clock at night, depending on how late he works. Like, was it yesterday? No. Today's Friday, because it's August 2nd, so it's Friday. Okay, Dixie, you gotta get down. You're... Sorry, girl, I didn't mean to knock you down like that, but you're clawing the crap out of me. She's constantly itching herself and trying to clean herself, and she's clawing me. These flies are, if it's not gnats, it's flies. If it's not flies, it's mosquitoes. But I love being here. <laughs> um, it's just a hectic thing, it seems like. When you only have two people working the land here and trying to get things done, because we want to make a bigger area for our chickens. We want to make a bigger area for the goats. We want to make pastures for the horses. We just, we want a lot to have done. But it takes a lot of time and money. Money's probably our biggest problem right now. I would say when it comes to anything. I think it goes for anybody who's trying to homestead. That if it's not already created for you and you're having to do it yourself. It takes money and like the rock people still haven't came and got any I don't know what that says something keeps popping up and I keep seeing it but um it's just like you know that would be a little bit of an income that we have right there for the rocks um, we were supposed to had that Amish guy give us a quote for the trees, but he still hasn't even, like, answered me back or anything on that. So I don't know what's going on. It's been over a week since I even talked to him and I texted him again. I've even called and left a message. He said he was going to call me Monday, but never did. I told him I was available and I'd be close to my phone. Because i got to be in a certain area of the house to be able to get phone calls. So I tried to make sure I was in that area most of the day. And then, you know, I like try to do videoing for YouTube. And that's something that 
takes a little bit of my time because it does take some time to show and then it takes me longer to do anything because I'm trying to show it but with that being said I just I'm already 20 minutes into this video and that's a long time to be talking but I just want to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting us, you know, by watching and, and liking the video and commenting. That all helps out. All our views, it really does. We should get a little a little payment come at the end of this month for, um, it would be April, May, June, July, and August. So five months worth of income off of um, YouTube to give us just over a hundred dollars worth of viewing money which I have to say I appreciate that I really do because it usually it just go, it normally goes right back into the farm here to be able to buy whatever is needed at the time that when we do get paid but um, I'm just saying like it's it's nice and I appreciate each and every one of you that have been sticking with us and that have stayed subscribed and that constantly view and those that always are commenting and that those that are always giving us likes because that helps get it into the rhythm of YouTube's journey of whatever, however they do the things there. But yeah, kidding season's coming up pretty quick. I think the winner of the buck that's actually going to get to breed the four does is going to be Lancelot. Um, I was really thinking about doing Prince, but I thought, no, nah, I'll just wait. I want Lancelot first, and then we'll do Prince the following year, and then I'll throw Zeus in with everybody and do a real good breeding. So I've got the next three years or so already planned out for breeding. We'll see how it goes. And, uh, It's rumbling. I just love this view. I really do. But I want to thank you everybody for being here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see everybody tomorrow. Till next time. God bless.